Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for spending some time with me. I am very grateful. We are continuing our playthrough of Evil Genius 2 because we are having a lot of fun with it, especially the traps. And so I think I'm going to continue to build onto our trap network today. Uh, but at the same time, I think we've gotten to a place now where we understand the mechanics of how everything works. We've gone through all the menus. Uh, we understand how power works, minions, all of that stuff, all the little grindy bits. Uh, and so I'm going to continue to do research in the background. Uh, looks like we are upgrading our void interface here, so that's great. But like I was saying, I'm going to continue to... Oh, nice. Venus spy trap. That's awesome. You catch more spies with honey than with vinegar. You catch even more with a giant mutant plant. Absolutely. So we're going to continue to do research in the background. And so uh, I think we understand how our science tree works here how the global stage works, and I'm going to do a lot of the grindy bits off camera, uh, and we're just going to focus on traps. We're going to focus on updating our equipment in the base uh, to make sure that we can supply our minions, <laughs> all of our... Okay, we've got something happening here. Soldiers, let's capture, let's capture a soldier or two. But um, yeah, we're going to keep the, the grindy bits off camera probably and just focus on on the fun stuff moving forward now that we understand the mechanics. Uh, and uh, so I think we're going to actually start by updating our power because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we've got fusion energy now. And so we are running low on power and need to update our power. So I'm going to maybe jump down to the lower level. I wonder, if can we even get to that lower level? Let me see. Already constructed, we need to do research to get lower than that. We've got a power room here. Let's slide over. Can we go lower here? Yes, okay. So looks like we need to dig an entrance anyway to the second level of our doomsday device. And so I think what we'll do is put energy here uh, as well as dig our way to the doomsday device. Okay, so we will confirm that and then we will see about expanding into this area with some energy because we definitely need more energy. So I will just see how far how far can I go here. All these little like little cavern bits are just becoming a little bit annoying. Uh, maybe we should focus on doing the last bit of mining research so that we can clear out this space completely because it's just an inconvenience. Uh, and all these strange angles are funny and uh, kind of mess with my design sensibilities anyway. So uh, I'm going to just start filling this space with these larger fusion generators uh, and we'll see how many we can fit in here. Nice. So this is the second level of our void machine. Looks like <laughs> it's just like a lightsaber shooting up through the middle of this thing with um, kind of multiple projection screens surrounding it. This thing is very cool. OK, and so let's go down another level. Yeah, that's cool. So we've got the radar down here, which I'm guessing is generating all the particles and whatnot. Uh, we've got the second level which is probably displaying a lot of the information. This kind of looks like our fancy desk right there where we kind of step into it. Uh, this is probably conveying, reading a bunch of information. All right, let's see, can we come up here and interact with this now? Let's see if we can do that. No, can't do that. Okay, so we'll have the evil genius step upstairs for a minute see if we can interact with this no nope, can't do it but uh, we will continue <laughs> to see if we can upgrade our void machine and get it to another tier because we've got another level at least right here for this device to live and so un and there's an entrance right there so it does look like we need to do our last bit of mining research and able to uh, so that we can get to this platform right there. 
Uh, let's see, the gold reserve is looking a bit slim. It's probably because we just bought a whole bunch of generators uh, to put in the basement. Uh, but that is what we needed to do, and now we have a power surplus, so that's great. That's great. That should get us the power we need for quite a while. All right, so it looks like what we are up to on our main objective is seeing our handheld void device uh, in action on agents. So I'm going to actually try and see if we can find some agents, and we will have our genius interact with them. It looks like we've definitely got some folks either leaving or trying to make their way into the base here. So we will uh, go ahead and wrangle these folks. <laughs> okay. It looks like we're here now. Okay. What are we doing? We are going to town on, <laughs> on a folks abandoning ship and, um, different agents. Okay, so execute a minion in the lair with the handheld void machine. <clears throat> well, it's probably about time for that anyway, if we've got people walking out. I think we're going to do it in the cafeteria because we've got so many people who will be able to see <laughs> what happens. All right, so let's see who needs to be brought down a pay. Let's see, how about, hmm, who is this? Natasha Bull. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. It's a cool device. Okay, the handheld void gets the green light. It deadens the thoughts of an... Anyone you choose, even henchmen, can be distracted, but they shake it off eventually. Okay, so we will collect our reward. So much power in the hands, in my hands at last. I don't, where am I? Yes, this will do nicely. We'll keep you pests under control while I build my organization. Mother? <laughs> okay, so we have thoroughly confused them. All right, we need to expand our influence, which we're doing take over the world, turning out to be expensive. Better build up your gold reserve. Uh, your minions can improve further. Okay, so we will continue to do minion recruitment. Let's see our side stories. This one is going to be Quantum Chemist. We have Hitman. We have Martial Artist. And let's see, this is counter agent. Uh, and so I think we are the science genius, so we will acquire a quantum chemist. Why do I have a headache? Our sortie into the unknown has reached its limit. We discovered a new branch of science, but lack expertise. Do you want to kidnap someone and learn their secrets? If you wouldn't mind, let's get this over with. Okay, so like we've done so many times in the past, we are going to jump to the world stage and we will uh, do that real quick. So it looks like we can do that right here and we will launch that scheme. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up before we continue on. We've got a lot of heat. The next thing we're going to do is actually update our communications network because we have these radio repeaters and these are the same machines that we've used since the beginning. And I do believe, yes, we have an advanced radio repeater now. And so I'm gonna create some space for these. And I don't know if I just wanna continue to use this room or create a new one. We can probably just sell the equipment we have in here. And let me look real quick. These are gonna generate Let's see, two. So these are going to generate uh, double the amount. Uh, and so I think we can use the same space and we will get double the amount. We just have to sell all this equipment first. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish selling all of this equipment so that we can continue to expand our reach on the global stage. Okay, so as 
is wont to happen on occasion. We didn't have enough money to pay our minions, and so now um, a little bit of heck is breaking loose in the base because we've got a lot of unhappy minions. And so I'm going to have to do some cleanup. Make sure that um, we don't have anybody leaving that we can't have leaving. Let's see. We, yeah, we're going to have to wait on research for a minute uh, because we don't have any money. Okay, it looks like we have Helga Steele, who is probably the person we captured from the world stage. So we will uh, take them to the Happy Fun Time chair and um, ask them all about their life, you know, because we are just so hospitable here at uh, Evil Genius Headquarters. And hopefully that will get us the information we need to move forward. All right, who do we have here? We've got... Folks with money symbols over their head. I wonder what that means. I'm guessing it's not good. It looks like we have gone into lockdown in a region that has one of the forces of justice. So we've got a Wrecking Bola here, and she is swinging her hammer at a concrete wall, which is great, which means she's not paying attention to us. So I'm just hoping she doesn't show up. But this region went into lockdown and we've got uh, the forces of justice there. So hopefully she doesn't show up. Maybe she will, I don't know. We'll try and be ready for her. But we have <laughs> we have agents trying to sneak in. I'm gonna get out of the way actually here so that we can try and capture these folks. Have a have a gander at the traps as they go off the killer bees. Okay. Oh, no. And uh, <laughs> we need to capture some of our own, unfortunately. All right. Yeah, we should be able to capture these three uh, and extract them for information. But, um, yeah, let's have a look at our radio control room here. It looks like equipment is being installed. Just one or two more desks ready to go in, and uh, our coffer should start to fill up again. Uh, and we need to probably make sure that we have enough. Is that a secret agent wandering around my base? Oh, my. Okay, well, I don't know how that happened. But, um, yeah, we should have enough money to pay our minions moving forward. Now that we've got energy figured out, we've got uh, our global network computers figured out. Let's see, this person just going to wander around. Maybe we follow them for a minute. Sean Toad from the Smash. Okay, no power. That's, how did, what the, no power. It's not good. Let's look at our power supplies and make sure there's no funny business. Oh, we are still waiting on power. Okay, we just don't have enough money. Well, it's a good thing we launched some schemes on the uh, world stage because we've got a lot of equipment yet to purchase here. Let's see, how are we doing on some of our optional objectives? We can probably collect barrack tiles, building room tiles. All right, yep. So that'll help the pocketbook a little bit. Our first biologist is now training to be a quantum chemist, and it looks like they are just mixing vials of different oozing, smoking fluids back and forth together, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, but again, love the machine, love the aesthetic, just so much fun. So we've got a couple of those um, folks ready to go, and that will probably help us continue our research in other areas, which is great because we need to finish our research tree here sooner than later. Looks like all of our radio repeaters are up and running. That is looking great. Our money is uh, continuing to grow. So we've got money in the bank again, which is, it is what we need. Uh, we are continuing to unlock new minions. And so once those uh, chemists are done, we should be able to move on to another one here. But 
Let's see. Looks like we've got some folks in our prison system that uh, need to be dealt with here. We've got our new minion type. This is going to unlock supercomputer as well as give us the ability to continue to make quantum chemists. Nice hat. Keeps my thoughts in. The endless, roiling, burning thoughts. Have you been <laughs> staring into my doomsday device? <laughs> okay. So I think we will update our uh, muscle game here and we'll start the Hitman side story. Another tango down, boss. We filled him so full of lead, he'll need an above average number of pallbearers. About that, you're hardly efficient. I've been reading about a hitman who kills their targets with one shot. Anyone who can do that, anyone can do that, boss. But what we do is called overkill. Honestly, you're lucky we don't overcharge you. This hitman can also get in and out of places without leaving any witnesses. Can you do that? Sure, if we have enough ammunition. Okay, so we will jump to the world stage and we will try and recruit a hitman to teach us the ways of the hitman. Let's see. Yeah, I think we can probably just do that there and we will see where that leads us. Uh, but having a new branch of muscle is going to be really helpful because I think things are just going to get more challenging uh, as time goes on. So might as well keep up uh, with our muscle. We've got our hitman ready to go. So we will interrogate him and see um, what secrets he has for us. But I'm guessing we will need to create a training facility for uh, whatever information is given to us here, but catch some agents on the way over to our training area. All right, the interrogation yielded some information. So let's go to our training area and we've got Hitman Trainer. All right, we'll just put that at the front of the, the entrance there. This is, this is our top priority, so everybody can see that when they walk in. In the meantime, probably need to uh, encourage our minions, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Oh, yeah, look at them all getting back to work. This is great. And um, then I think we're just going to go downstairs and uh, relax at our desk for a minute. But it looks like we've got gold back in the base. We've got all of our racks are full. We should probably do some expansion on this, too, actually. All right, our Hitman Trainer is ready to go, so we will add some Hitman to our worker list. Muscle Minion, Excel with Lethal Weaponry, Incredible Armor, Damage, and Spotting Power. That's awesome. We should probably have a dozen of these guys then. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, that's a lot of money. Cost per day. Uh, and we'll keep it at six. All right, it looks like... <laughs> so they're just training on espionage, checking danger corners. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This is great. Okay, so we've got Hitman now. And then we'll just have to unlock a couple more different types of minions, and we should be able to move forward in our research. And then the last thing I want to do in this episode is expand our traps network a little bit. And so I'm going to get the infrastructure for this. I think what we're going to do, I really like the different channels approach that we have here, where uh, each different channel has a different uh, trap in it. And so I think we're going to continue that aesthetic into this area as well. All right, so we've got our new minion type here. We're going to get a nice cash bonus as well. Ah, you must be the new hitman. Reporting for duty. Point me to your target. I have to point you? Can't I just give you a picture and cryptic instructions like take care of them? That's the premium package. Excellent. Okay. Uh, next we have the martial artist. 
Look, I don't usually care, but are you okay? You weren't nearly as bloodthirsty in that last gunfight. It's just, well, it's all the same, isn't it? Pull the trigger, pull the trigger, blot out the screams, pull the trigger. Occasionally I reload, but even that's dull. Killing indiscriminately has lost its shine. I need a challenge. Things have been a little quiet around here lately. Okay, I'm in. What do you need? Maybe I could use my bare hands. Bring him in alive. That'd be a real challenge. Okay, so next we have martial artists. Uh, at the same time, we've got our minions um, <laughs> uh, in the throes of construction over here. We've expanded our security room. So we are going to give them more weapons and more tables to sit at. Uh, we've added three new channels. We've got Shark Tank, Disco, and this one is interesting. This is the fake safe. And so they will have to stop here and try and crack the safe before moving on. Uh, and we've also installed a paywall as well as hand sanitizer because, you know, I don't want these agents getting in here and spreading germs um, to all my other minions. So we've got hand sanitizer stations here as well. And I think that'll be helpful for our minions to just you know, in passing, uh, be able to sanitize their hands. But we've got a, oh, what do we have here? We've got saboteurs trying to make their way in. Now, these guys are a little bit more clever, so we'll see what happens with the traps. <laughs> okay, I misspoke. Um, <laughs> they're they are going to get caught up in the traps, just like everyone else. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's going to have to get out his credit card before moving on. Let's see what happens here. Oh, $50. Nice. Oh, everybody is caught in killer bees. <laughs> and poison darts. And oh my gosh. All right. Well, uh, our guards have been alerted, but uh, it didn't look like the safe work. So maybe we need to put this in a different place. Let's actually put it on... Let's see, let's move it to here if we can. And maybe they will pause before moving on to crack that safe, but that should be fun. Uh, and then we will put something more nefarious here in its place. We, ha we don't have any bubble cannons. Should probably do some bubble cannons. So we will catch them up in bubbles uh, before, <laughs> before they move on. But the new traps are working great, and it uh, looks like our guards are making themselves at home. Uh, we've also got stabs here for, let's see, our minions with large studded stabs, ideal for eliminating strong enemies. Awesome. We've got stabs, clubs. We've got different types of pistols. Um, things are going well. Things are going well. But I think that's going to wrap this episode up. Thank you again so much for spending some time with me. And if you would, consider tickling those like and subscribe buttons because it's the only way I can continue to feed my fish. Uh, so we will catch you all in the next one.